Shane McCall reporting live. We are here. It is Friday afternoon. I just got back from lunch, and lo and behold, there was Jolly Bee waiting for us when we got home. I'm very confused, but not too confused that I can't review this. Uh, so this has been on our list for a long time. If you talk to Cynthia, she'll tell you I wanted this in Canada, up in Vancouver. Uh, what we have here is the Jolly Bee uh, fried chicken. We already had one, and we decided should we have recorded an episode earlier. Uh, and I said I just I just got back from lunch, literally with Hari Kalsa eating Cafe China food. Try the spicy fish fillets. Thank you, Jason Morin, for that tip. Um, so we already had one, but uh, we got to do this again. And so we're going to take out, this is, uh, we're going for dark meat here, I think. Is this, what do we think this is, a thigh? We think this is a thigh? We'll see what this is. I'm uh, just going to cut right into it. There's a crispness to this, and I, I really wish I had, I thought that's, I'm cutting into a bone here. I really wish I had had this in another, like I could plan ahead, because this, I actually just cut through the bone. How about that? Uh, so this might be white meat, it might be dark meat. I don't know. Let's get a, let's get a shot. A good Christmas, um, a Christmas, good Christmas. Uh, some love for the camera woman, see right there. And um, we were told to try it with a sauce. I don't know what this is, it kind of looks like Thousand Island. I'll do a little dip here. Um, I'm just gonna dip the edge of this into it. Um, I'm try that. There's a sweet tang to this. Did you try this sauce, Cynthia? Cynthia did not try this sauce. Uh, it's it's pretty good. Um, the chicken itself uh, is good. I'm not a fan of Jolly Bee's labor practices. I understand there was a a strike and all that. Um, so I hope I'm not crossing the picket line by sampling this. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. I'll tell you, and this this had been driven over to us, so it's also not as as uh, crunchy and fresh as it could be. I think fried chicken, much like um, I want to say brick oven pizza, has a half life, and you got to get you got to get that immediately. Um, so we're gonna leave this here. I'm just gonna tidy this back up. We're gonna have probably have this uh, for dinner later. Uh, there were French fries. Uh, and th this I could have gone without, I mean, honestly, french fries, uh, traveling french fries. Uh, but the, the star here, unexpected, uh, we, we got these, um, we featured these in a previous episode, the, the Heinz and the, the sweepstakes is over, folks. We got four Colorados here, which is the bison burger, I remember. And then um, Kansas Kansas has the cheeseburger pie. And as uh, we're going to have to do the judge's ruling on the cube rule here, I don't know if this qualifies as a burger or a sandwich. Uh, it is a pie. It looks like it's covered. It looks like a lasagna of sorts. Um, so we'll check that out. But the, um, the, the real benefit here with ketchup that you, we all keep ketchup in the fridge. I mean, that's, that's where you keep it. Unless you're running a diner at home, we have the ketchup in the fridge. But the, the real, the benefit of packets, I think, is room temperature ketchup on demand that you don't have to leave out. And so when you're having it, that, that was a, that was a blunder. Um, when you're having ketchup, you don't want to have like put cold ketchup on a fresh hot burger. And then that's just a, it, you're, you're ruining the textures there. So having room temperature ketchup or even warm ketchup indistinguishable from McDonald's. Um, that's what I have to say about that. There is two other items here, and then we'll get to the special thing. This could be beans. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's get uh, a little spoon here, a big spoon, and uh, we'll see what this is. This is gravy. This might just be gravy, and then that, in this case, this is the mashed potatoes, which is odd. You would expect the gravy to be in the little one and the mashed potatoes in the big one. So this is just, if you just want more gravy, I guess, on the, this is gratuitous. So I'm just going to do that, I guess, and then I'll close that up. Mashed potatoes. Now we're getting really into KFC territory here with the famous bowls and all that stuff. Um, so Jolly Bee mashed potatoes. I don't know when this was last in potato form. Uh, that is clearly not much different than you're getting out of a box uh, from the grocery aisle. Uh, but now this, we didn't know what this was. This was on the bottom of the Jolly Bee bag. I think it was this. Uh, in the bottom of the Jolly Bee bag. Uh, this is uh, macro. Oh, we, so this is not presentable. Let me show you what we actually went into. It was one. Of, there was two of these. And look at that. Now, this kind of reminds me of, I, I did a consulting gig over at Kroger a very long time ago. I was stuck in Cincinnati, uh, probably for about a week, the better part of a week. And the problem with Cincinnati, well, there's many problems with Cincinnati and Ohio these days. Uh, but there, there wasn't a lot of great food options. I did get a steak in a, I want to say it was an old police precinct. It was called the precinct. Uh, and I brought some of their salt home. But they, uh, Cincinnati's got a chili thing going on there. And with their chili, they basically put chili over spaghetti and they call it chili, uh, and they don't call it spaghetti. This is this is in some weird no man's land between Italian food and American food. Uh, and then you get toppings on that, like onions and uh, cheddar, a lot of cheddar cheese. Uh, so this had a little bit of cheese on top, and it looked like it was some cut up hot dog pieces. And I would honestly go just for this, uh, just for the Jolly Bee spaghetti. Um, I don't know what this caused, but the fact that you can get fast food spaghetti is nice. I mean, this is this is kind of tastes like. Um, 
the sweetness on the sauce, and maybe that's a Filipino thing, um, but it's got some ground meat in it, and it's got those little, the little hot dog pieces in there. This kind of has the familiar nostalgic taste, I want to say, of like SpaghettiOs. Um, no complaint with the noodles here. Uh, for something that just traveled over to us, and now, because it's probably been out for about 40 minutes now, this is uh, still delight, and it'll probably heat up nicely in a saucepan with some steam. Uh, we'll leave it at that, and uh, there is also some uh, Filipino uh, sugar vinegar. I'm getting the names wrong, but we're going to follow up with another recipe from Kenji's Kitchen uh, two years ago, that video. Um, and so we're going to make that with the Filipino soy sauce, and I believe that's uh, chicken adobo, uh, which does not involve adobo spice, and there's, there's so many things I have to learn about Filipino cuisine. Uh, but we'll get to that eventually. Uh, but meanwhile, Friday afternoon, signing off with a box of Jollibee. Cherry McCullough. Bye-bye.